Hi guys, long time no see. <laughs> so, uh, it is a really horrible day today, as you can tell. I got an umbrella and it's raining. And uh, ever since I got back from Bloodstock, I have been recovering. <laughs> uh, I would explain my experience at Bloodstock now, but I would do that when I get home. So today I'm just going, doing a bit of shopping. I've had a pretty rough week, so all I need is Starbucks and makeup just to cheer me up. <laughs> so I'm hoping to do a bit of that today, just try and not get so much expensive of makeup. Right now I'm heading to the shop to get my money out and uh, trying to cover my phone up as much as possible because it's raining and uh, yeah. So then I'm gonna wait for the bus and head into town and like I said, do a bit of shopping. See you guys in a bit. So we have like a Disney store now and I just bought, <laughs> I had to. There was two things in there that I wanted and I got one of them. One of them was a Jack Skeleton Teddy and it was just like, oh, it's 20 quid. And my next payday is not till Thursday, so I'm definitely going back in there and I'm getting that fucking Jack Skeleton Teddy. It's not the miniature one. <laughs> I'm getting the big ass one. <laughs> so it's like 20 quid and the cup, well, I'll show you when I get home. I've bought like a few things, not unnecessary. But I didn't get much makeup, so I just bought, um, what is it? Uh, New York, New YX, I can't pronounce it, um, mascara. And a few bits and bobs from Primark and a cup from the Disney store. <laughs> this is what happens when they build something here that I like. So, um, yeah, next is I'm gonna get a fucking Starbucks because I need it. I need it in my life. I need it. I don't think they're doing a pumpkin spicy latte yet, but apparently they released it early, but I need it. Okay, so I just got back home and um, first off I'm going to show you everything that I bought from town. There's some lady things that you don't need to see, just bleh. <laughs> and my hair looks a mess at the moment. Uh, first off, I am growing the colour out because my hair is totally, totally fucked. My mate noticed it when she was putting dreads in for me and she said, yeah, don't dye your hair anymore. I said, I'm not planning to anymore. So um, I'm going to have my natural hair colour back, which is brown. And hopefully this, I say by the time of August next year, should be down to here or something because my hair grows pretty quick. As you've noticed, it's grown a little bit. So when all my natural colour is back and I've trimmed all of this, not all of it, but when it's long, I've trimmed all of this off, I should be uh, brown again. So anyway, now time to show the stuff that I just bought. Uh, I went in Primark today and um, I looked around and there's a lot more Disney stuff going on there lately. So I bought two of these. I love them, the reason I saw them because there's diamonds on these false nails and um, that's Mickey and that's Minnie and that's just little red little crystals on them and they're sparkly as well so you can tell they were £3.50 so I got two of these and they're also selling um, Alice in Wonderland things in there like eyeshadow uh, it's like a box with um, face contour and um, eyeshadow with it it was ten pounds. I was like, no, not today. I wasn't very keen on the colours, but there was a few that I liked. There was a sparkly, light green and uh, silver, and just the original colours I already have. And um, they had an Alice in Wonderland perfume, so I had a, a whiff of that. Um, it smells just the same as the perfumes I already have, so there was no point in getting it. It smelled just like uh, the mermaid perfume that I. It smells exactly the same as the 
per mermaid perfume. So um yeah, I'm sorry this like lighting like this going on here is like going across because it's because of that. <laughs> so the next thing I'm gonna show you, I just bought ordinary socks because I needed new ones. They were two pound fifty. And uh, these ones I saw, I saw everyone buying these lately because they're like Halloween themed socks. Um, <coughs> these ones that I bought, this one says trick or treat. And there's different coloured ones. There's eh, this one and. Just do it this way. And this one. These were £2.50 as well, so get them while they last. Um, the makeup that I bought uh, from what was it? Boots, uh, the NYX. I think it's New York something. Um, so I bought this um, mascara from Boots, and this was seven pound. Um, I just immediately saw it, and I was like, hmm, I might give this a try. So I didn't buy much makeup because there was just some colours that I already. Um, kind of have and some sort of things already um, I have really too much makeup now so I'm planning to get a dressing table as soon as possible there's one in August that I like but it's 199.99p pounds so um, I want to get that but I have to figure where to put the shelf because there's literally no space in my room because it's that small because of my double bed so um yeah, so I just bought this and it's called Bad. Blah, 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 blah. I'll just show it again. This is what it's called and it's by N. Focus. 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 Oh, it won't focus. Uh, so it's NYX uh, Professional Makeup. I haven't really opened it yet, so I'll just give this a look. Wow. Oh, it smells great too. Ooh, smells great. So obviously it's black and um, this is like a volume mascara so it's meant to give more volume in your eyelashes and make them point out more so I'm going to give this a whirl. So when I do a next makeup tutorial I'll let you all have a look and see what this is like. That's it in my primer bag now. The very exciting part for me. Yes, um, we have a Disney store in Warrington now so I got this. There was two things that I saw in there, like I said in my other uh, video, they had the Jack Skeleton Teddy, he's about this big, and I'm going to get him on Thursday, like, fuck the miniature one, like I said in the video, <laughs> and um, so I'm going to get this out, Ooh. actually I'll do the opening like this. two boxes of these, now I have a third. The reason I'm keeping the box is because these, uh, things like this can be, not like the box, but things like this can be collectible items and in the future, like further on, there could be more, like more cost a lot. <laughs> they can cost like, that's better. <laughs> so um, if my cups knock off, you can hear them. But I'm so as I was saying, these can become collectible items. Like in the further the future, they can be uh, worth a lot of money. There we go. I got the word out. So yeah, and this is what we did. Ooh. So excited. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hell yeah! It's a Maleficent cup, and I'm so happy about this. As soon as I walked past the Jack Skeleton Teddies, I was like, I saw this. I was like, I need. So these have got 50% off. So you can see here. Um, be focused. Well, you can kind of see it's. It was. I'll tell. You, it was like 11 pound. Now it's 5 pound 50. So these. Cups, cups like these have 50% off so if you guys get a chance go to the Disney store go to the cup area aisle and get it before the 50% goes trust me just get it go to the Disney store uh, immediately <laughs> uh, so yeah 11 pound it was meant to be oh, you can see it better on here now so 
there we go you can see it better now so that's how much it cost and oh, I need somebody to put these stickers inside them ah so obviously I'm gonna keep this cup away from anyone and if anyone uses it I will bite their fingers off because <laughs> you know how much of a fan I am of Maleficent she's my favorite so um, as you can see this is in her castle when she was talking to her guard, uh, who are guards or whatever what they call the army little pigs I forgot what they're called um, with a little pet um, I forgot his name now I don't think he had a name I can't remember um, with, her, with her pet and she's talking to her guards and she's like in her castle as you can tell and there's thorns around and as soon as you turn it around there's her as a dragon fight, fighting Prince Philip I love this cup so much as soon as I saw it I needed to get it so I'm probably gonna have my like, green tea in this <laughs> forever and ever and uh, I'm never gonna pass this on to anyone it's staying with me so it's microwavable and it's washable but I'm gonna wash it because I don't want it to get ruined I may like because I've got two cups already as you've seen I've got the sea witch and um, the poisoned apple of the evil queen as I saw in a Disney story as well they have Christmas ornaments out already they have Pocahontas, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, uh, Belle uh, Snow White, all kinds of that, and they also have the Evil Queen when she's the old lady, and they have Night Before Christmas ornaments as well. So they're like fifteen pound. So I get paid like on Thursday as well. So I'm gonna be like, I want this, I want this, I want this. So the Jack Skeleton Teddy, the ornaments, and that's it. <coughs> so um, I don't know how much of the cost. I'm gonna add it up. Should I add it up now? Actually, oh, I can't because. I could use my calculator, hold on. Calculator as in iPod. <laughs> so you can see the calculator on here. Do, 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 do. Let's add this up. So the Jack Skeleton Teddy is 19.99, I think. Add 15, 15, 87, 89 quid. Mm. What am I going to do? <laughs> oh well I guess it's just going to have to be the teddy I'm going to have to make a really really hard decision here so um yeah so I'll talk to you guys on what was going on as well so now all that's done now I can tell you about the experience I had at Bloodstock this year the experience I had was very very awesome I had a really good time Art Midgard was so awesome um, it's a lot more fun than Ironwood. I think Ironwood's like another sort of quiet camp, but I prefer Midgard. Um, it did rain on the two, three days, I think, but it didn't get as muddy as it usually does at download, but it didn't get muddy there, so I was like, hallelujah. Um, my tent door broke, the zip broke, so I was like, fuck's sake. Uh, it cost me 30 quid. Um, never getting that tent again because it was a one layer and everything was leaking through. I guess that's what you get for chip tents and Tesco's. Um, Asta did the same tent as well, so <laughs> never again. So I'm going to buy a two layer four man tent next time for next year. And um, I'm going to be getting my ticket hopefully in October because I'm not doing anything much, I think. I'm not sure. Um, I really enjoyed my time. Nightwish were fucking amazing. Oh, the, what's his name? The guitarist. Um, he saw me in the crowd and he went, it's like, ah! But the most thing that pissed me off that you had to pay 69 quid for a raffle ticket to meet them in the signing tent. They didn't do that to any other bands but Nightwish. So my heart was broken and I felt like crying because I was in that, I was so angry. It was just, oh well maybe next time but I'm seeing them in December again but I doubt that I won't meet them if you could see that right back there and what I'm pointing at right now is Wednesday 13's signature and it was the very first time I met him I met Roman and all the other members before Roman recognized me he went hello there <laughs> so I was like I'm doing great and then he looked at Wednesday, uh, Wednesday and he went, dude check this chick out and Wednesday 13 went oh I was like because I was um 
because you've seen in my vlogs I have blood all over my face and like contacts and different all that and I had dreads in and the little ponytails like up here and um, I need to show you one thing actually so as I all told you that I bought a bag from Bloodstock it was 50 quid this shop was amazing they had everything they had all kinds of horror films they had all the horror patches they had the Lost Boys, uh, Dracula, Frankenstein all the old movies like that and I really wanted the back patch of the Lost Boys I was like eh. but I was stuck between that and this so I got this for 50 quid and it was the first time I spoiled myself obviously as you can tell it's Bella Lugosi, um, Dracula and the print is really nice inside as you can tell I know that, what the fuck is that? oh it's my sunglasses <laughs> So as you can tell that I know I already have another coffin bag but the fabric inside's coming apart so I need to glue or staple that back together. And I got this, it's PVC as you can tell, I love PVC and um, it was really helpful at Bloodstock so I used this bag the whole time since I bought it. I had my purse, uh, phone and everything in there uh, so um, yeah. The bands I'd say that I enjoyed watching was, I can't say his name, Cam, Camelot, Camelot, something like that, uh, Judas Priest, Wednesday 13, uh, Combi Christ, they were fucking good, I did all my old industrial dancing and chills, like, yay, I got my old self, <laughs> so it was like that, and uh, who else? Uh, I, I watched At The Gates, but I went to watch them early because I wanted to get at the front for Nightwish, so I was not at the right the Barrett ba 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 you know what I mean uh but I was like behind them so they see like it was fucking awesome there's so much fire and fireworks the backdrop of when they played the greatest show on earth was amazing I cried a bit when they played ghost love source I was like yes and uh, I was singing along, so a ghost lost souls. A woman heard me with my high pitched voice, and a woman came up to me and said, You sounded really good. I was like, Thank you. <laughs> so that was on the last day. Um, I ran into very uh, old friends and new friends. Obviously, I hanged out with Wednesday, my Wednesday, actually. Obviously, actually, uh, Phil. I haven't seen him for months, like almost a year, so I've seen him at Bloodstock. But I was walking up to the to the queue of when Thursday 13, I heard, Kirsty, 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 three times I turned around, I was like, hello. <coughs> <coughs> Still got a sore throat. That's fun shouting my heart out to Nightwish. And um, also, I made it on this website that for Bloodstock, I made it, they took a picture of me and I'm on the website, so I was like, yes, obviously I didn't, uh, in the picture I didn't look like very satisfied, but not by the picture taken, it's just waiting in the queue and my feet were killing because wearing new rocks, things you have to do for beauty, and um, yeah, I really enjoyed my time at Bloodstock this year, and I finally got to hang out with my old very very old friend Emily and I haven't seen her in time so I was like yes hey Emily <laughs> so I missed her as well I met new people I camped with new people they were very nice and kind love nice and kind caring people that I hanged out with there were so many wasps though <laughs> that's because of all the sugar they can smell in their drinks I think that's because of the strongbow dark fruits because there's sort of like sugar in that kind of and um yeah, so I've got like two timetable things now, but I'm keeping one of them because Nightwish is on them. And I also got my cup that I ordered online, um, bought online, but you had to collect it at the festival. It was £3, so I'm glad I got it. It still smells of blackcurrant in here. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, I missed a part, I missed a bit of Aelstorm, but I didn't get to see. Um, who else was well? I forgot, completely forgot. I didn't get, I didn't go and see um, Chris Jericho, sadly. Uh, tobacco. I didn't get to see Chris Jericho, but oh well. And um, yeah, 
so I am definitely looking forward to next year's Bloodstock. It was weird at first, like going there first time single, it was like, yeah, I guess I'll be okay. I was okay. Uh, but it was just nice having a tent to myself, and I was like, oh. But it was so fucking cold on the second day. Um, in the campsite, I actually built a fire in Midgard, but it was around like the cooking area. So we all just stood there, but the others went off, but I stayed there because I was like fucking freezing my ass off. So I bought another hoodie, which was like for £15, so I was like, fuck's sake. Next time, take more hoodies with you, Kirsty. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So that was all for Bloodstock, and now I'm back on my diet, and growing my hair out, and I'm looking forward to more happy things. I have... Four gigs coming up now, Evil Scarecrow, The Rasmus, With Him Temptation and Nightwish. Uh, hopefully I want to go see CKY in Manchester, but I doubt I will because of money. But yeah. So that's all it today guys, and I do apologise you haven't seen me much lately, so if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, don't forget to check links in the description, and you haven't checked out my Bloodstock vlog yet, go check it out. So I'll speak to you guys soon. Uh, please comment, rate and subscribe. See you guys soon. Bye!